Have you ever found yourself wondering about the signs that God is about to pour out his blessings upon you? In this month, let's delve into the profound wisdom of the Bible to uncover five signs that indicate God's imminent blessings in our lives. Before this, start this video. Please like this video. It will help us to reach all the people in the Word. In the last, I'll pray a strong and good prayer with you in Jesus' name. Stick around till the end and be open to receive the good things from this prayer. Let us embark on a profound journey into the first sign that God is about to pour out His blessings upon us, the power of faith as small as a mustard seed. In Matthew 17, 20, tells us that with faith as small as this seed, we can move mountains. The mustard seed, though small, possesses incredible potential, a potential that lies in its unwavering belief that it can grow into a mighty tree. Likewise, our faith, even if seemingly small, has the power to move mountains in our lives. It's not about the size of our faith, but the depth of our trust in God. As we face challenges and uncertainties, let us cling to the promise that our faith, no matter how small, can bring about transformative blessings. The journey of faith is not always an easy one. It requires trust in the unseen, a surrender of our doubts, and a commitment to believe in God's promises. Hebrews 11, one beautifully defines faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. It's this unwavering conviction that God is faithful to his word that becomes the foundation of the blessings he showers upon us. Let us reflect on our own faith journey. Are there moments when doubt creeps in, threatening to overshadow our belief in God's goodness and provision? The mustard seed teaches us that size doesn't determine impact. It's the quality of our faith that matters. Embrace the truth that in this month God is calling us to cultivate a faith that defies the odds and moves mountains. Let us now delve into the second sign that signals God's imminent blessings in our lives. The divine connection between generosity and the outpouring of God's favor. In Luke 6.38, Jesus declares, Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. This verse presents a powerful principle that links our acts of generosity with the abundant blessings that God bestows upon us. Generosity is not merely a transaction, but a spiritual principle that aligns our hearts with the very nature of God. When we give selflessly, we reflect the generosity of our Heavenly Father, who gave us the greatest gift of all, His Son, Jesus Christ. As we emulate this spirit of giving, we position ourselves to receive a bountiful measure of God's blessings. Consider the imagery of a farmer sowing seeds in a field. In 2 Corinthians 9, 6, Paul draws a parallel between our giving and the act of sowing. He says, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. This vivid metaphor illustrates that the size of the harvest is directly proportionate to the generosity of the sower. As we navigate through this month, let us evaluate the posture of our hearts regarding generosity. Are we sowing generously into the lives of others, be it through our time, resources, or kindness. The promise of Luke 6.38 urges us to give with a heart that overflows, knowing that the measure we use will be measured back to us in abundance. Generosity is not solely about material wealth. It encompasses a generous spirit in all aspects of life. It involves giving of ourselves, our time, love, compassion, and resources. As we cultivate this spirit of generosity, we create an open channel for God's blessings to flow into our lives. Let us now explore the third sign that serves as a beacon of God's impending blessings in our lives. The timeless wisdom found in Matthew 6.33, urging us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Have you ever contemplated the profound implications of prioritizing the kingdom of God above all else? This verse encapsulates a transformative principle that, when applied, 
unlocks the floodgates of God's blessings in our lives. It calls us to reorder our priorities and align them with the eternal purposes of God. In the context of this verse, all these things refer to the necessities of life, food, clothing, and the various concerns that often occupy our minds. Jesus, in his wisdom, invites us to shift our focus from the worries of this world to the pursuit of God's kingdom and righteousness. It's an invitation to trust that, as we prioritize God's ways, he will take care of our needs. Seeking the kingdom of God involves a pursuit of his will, a commitment to living according to his principles, and a dedication to advancing his purposes on earth. This month, let us examine our lives and ask ourselves, are we seeking God's kingdom first in our decisions, relationships, and daily activities? The promise in Matthew 6.33 is not a call to neglect our responsibilities or to live passively. Rather, it is an assurance that as we seek God's kingdom, He will add everything we need for life and godliness. This aligns with the broader scriptural theme of trusting in the Lord with all our hearts and leaning not on our understanding, Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Consider the example of Solomon in 1 Kings 3, 5, 14. When given the opportunity to ask for anything, Solomon requested wisdom to govern God's people. In response, God not only granted him wisdom, but also bestowed upon him riches and honor beyond measure. Solomon's choice to seek God's kingdom first resulted in the overflow of blessings in every aspect of his life. Let us now dive into the fourth sign that heralds God's impending blessings in our lives. The virtue of endurance and perseverance, anchored in the timeless truth found in James 1.12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Have you ever found yourself facing trials that seem insurmountable? In the journey of life, challenges are inevitable, but the promise in James 1.12 provides us with a powerful perspective, a perspective that transforms trials into opportunities for endurance and growth. Endurance, often likened to a steadfastness in the face of adversity, is a virtue that runs deep in the fabric of biblical teachings. It's not merely about surviving difficulties but thriving through them, emerging stronger and more resilient on the other side. This endurance is not fueled by sheer willpower alone, but is deeply intertwined with our love and devotion to the Lord. Consider the imagery of a runner in a race. The finish line represents the fulfillment of God's promises and blessings in our lives. Hebrews 12, 1, 2 encourages us to run with endurance, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. In the race of life, Endurance is not about speed, but about steadfastness, about keeping our gaze fixed on the one who has promised us the crown of life. The Bible is replete with stories of individuals who endured trials and emerged victorious through their faith in God. Job, despite facing unimaginable loss and suffering, remained steadfast in his faith, and God restored to him double of what he had lost. Joseph endured betrayal and imprisonment, but ultimately became a ruler with authority. These examples remind us that endurance is a pathway to divine elevation and blessings. In the midst of trials, let us remember that our endurance is not in vain. James 5.11 highlights the perseverance of Job and declares him blessed at the end because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. This month, let our endurance be fueled by the understanding that God sees our struggles and as we persevere in faith, he is preparing a crown of life for us. As we navigate the challenges of life, let us embrace the fourth sign, the call to endure under trial. May our endurance be a testament to our love for the Lord and our unwavering trust in his promises. Let us run this race with perseverance, knowing that beyond the trials lies the glorious manifestation of God's blessings in our lives. Let us now unravel the fifth sign that serves as a beacon signaling God's imminent blessings in our lives. The transformative power of thanksgiving in all circumstances 
as beautifully articulated in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The call to give thanks in all circumstances is not a suggestion, it's a divine directive, an invitation to cultivate a spirit of gratitude that transcends our circumstances and taps into the limitless blessings of our Heavenly Father. Thanksgiving is not contingent upon perfect circumstances, but is an acknowledgement of God's sovereignty and goodness, regardless of our present situation. In times of abundance, giving thanks comes naturally, but it is in times of difficulty that the transformative power of gratitude shines most brilliantly. Consider the life of the Apostle Paul, who wrote the words in 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Despite facing numerous trials and adversities, Paul maintained a heart of gratitude. From prison cells to shipwrecks, he found reasons to give thanks. His attitude of gratitude was not rooted in his external circumstances, but in the unchanging character of God. Gratitude is not just a reaction to favorable circumstances. It's a proactive choice to recognize and appreciate the goodness of God in every situation. The psalmist understood this when he declared in Psalm 107, 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. This enduring love of God becomes the anchor of our gratitude, providing a solid foundation for the blessings that flow from His goodness. As we navigate through this month, let us reflect on our own hearts. Are we cultivating a spirit of thanksgiving, even in the face of challenges? The transformative power of gratitude is not merely a psychological boost, it's a spiritual principle that aligns us with God's will and opens the floodgates for His blessings. Consider the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 in Matthew 14, 13, 21. Before the miraculous multiplication of loaves and fishes, Jesus gave thanks. In that act of gratitude, a miracle unfolded and thousands were fed, this narrative illustrates that thanksgiving precedes multiplication, and as we give thanks, God multiplies His blessings in our lives. In conclusion, let us embrace the fifth sign, the call to give thanks in all circumstances. May our hearts be attuned to the divine directive to express gratitude, knowing that it is in this spirit of thanksgiving that God's will is fulfilled in our lives. As we give thanks, let us anticipate the overflow of blessings that God, in His faithfulness, is ready to pour into our lives. May our gratitude be a fragrant offering, and may our lives resonate with the words of 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Amen. Now this is the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, Creator of the universe, we humbly come before your throne of grace, acknowledging your majesty and sovereignty. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and in your presence we find solace and strength. Lord, we thank you for the gift of life for each breath, and for the opportunity to walk in your light. We recognize that every good and perfect gift comes from above, and we give thanks for your boundless mercy and love that sustains us through every season of life. As we enter into this sacred moment of prayer, we lift up our hearts in adoration. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who hears the cries of his people. We exalt your holy name and declare your goodness over every aspect of our lives. Forgive us, O Lord, for the times we have fallen short, for the moments when we have turned away from your perfect ways. Create in us clean hearts, renew a right spirit within us, and lead us on the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. We intercede on behalf of those who are suffering, the brokenhearted, the oppressed, and the marginalized. May your comfort surround them like a warm embrace, and may your justice prevail in their lives. We ask for healing for the sick, provision for the needy, and strength for the weary. Lord Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, we thank you for the cross and the sacrifice that brought us redemption. Help us to daily take up our crosses and follow you, denying ourselves and living lives that glorify your name. May your love be the driving force in our relationships, actions, and endeavors. 
Holy Spirit, dwell in us and guide our steps. Illuminate the scriptures that we may gain wisdom and understanding. Empower us to be bold witnesses for Christ, sharing the good news of salvation with a world in need. May your fruits, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control manifest in our lives. We pray for our leaders, both spiritual and earthly. Grant them wisdom, discernment, and a heart that seeks justice and righteousness. May they lead with humility and compassion, recognizing the weight of their responsibility before you. As we face the challenges of this world, we declare our trust in your unfailing promises. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Strengthen our faith, O Lord, that we may stand firm in the face of trials, knowing that you are with us. Heavenly Father, we continue in this sacred space of communion, grateful for the privilege to converse with you in prayer. Your presence surrounds us, and in the stillness of our hearts, we seek a deeper connection with you. Lord, we bring before you the concerns that weigh on our minds, the uncertainties, the fears, and the burdens we carry. Your word assures us that we can cast all our anxieties on you because you care for us. 1 Peter 5, 7 So, in faith, we release these concerns into your capable hands, trusting that your wisdom exceeds our understanding. We pray for unity within your church, the body of Christ. May we, as believers, stand united in love, purpose, and doctrine. Let your Spirit bind us together, transcending denominational lines as we focus on the core message of the Gospel. Strengthen the bonds of fellowship among your people, that we may be a radiant example of your love to the world. Lord, we lift up the nations of the earth before you. In a world marked by division and strife, we pray for peace. Be with leaders across the globe, guiding them in the pursuit of justice and righteousness. Pour out your Spirit on those who govern, that they may lead with humility, compassion, and a desire for the well-being of their people. In the midst of the chaos and noise of this world, we ask for discernment. Help us to hear your still, small voice amid the clamor, guiding us in the paths of righteousness. Grant us the courage to stand firm in our faith, even when the world may challenge it. We intercede for the lost, and those who have yet to experience the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Open their hearts to the truth of your word. Use us as vessels of your love and witnesses of your redeeming power that others may come to know you as their savior. Father, we acknowledge your sovereignty over all creation. The heavens declare your glory and the earth is full of your handiwork. May we, as stewards of this planet, fulfill our responsibility to care for the environment and demonstrate gratitude for the gift of creation. As we conclude this time of prayer, we do so with hearts full of gratitude and anticipation. We trust that our petitions have been heard and we wait in hope for your answers. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7 Heavenly Father, as we linger in your presence, we thank you for the assurance that you hear our prayers. Your faithfulness endures through all generations, and we rest in the confidence that your plans for us are filled with hope and purpose. Lord, we bring before you the brokenness in our world, the pain of injustice, the echoes of violence and the cries of the oppressed. May your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Use us as instruments of your peace, advocates for justice, and agents of reconciliation in a world desperately in need of your love. We lift up those who are experiencing physical, emotional, or spiritual afflictions. You are the great physician, and we ask for your healing touch to restore health and wholeness. Bring comfort to those who are mourning, strength to those who are weak, and hope to those who are discouraged. In our daily lives, Help us to be intentional in living out the teachings of your word. May our actions reflect your love, kindness, and compassion. Grant us the grace to extend forgiveness, as we have been forgiven, 
and to demonstrate grace to others as a reflection of your boundless mercy. Lord, we entrust our families into your hands. Strengthen the bonds of love between spouses, parents and children. Be a constant presence in our homes, guiding us in the ways of righteousness. May our households be a testimony to your transformative power. We pray for the Church, the Body of Christ. Revive your Church, Lord, and ignite a passion for your Word and your mission. Let unity prevail, and may your Spirit move in powerful ways to draw people closer to you. Equip us to be salt and light in a world that desperately needs the hope found in Christ. As we look towards the future, we surrender our plans and ambitions to you. Guide our steps, O Lord, and may our desires align with your perfect will. Grant us the wisdom to discern your leading and the courage to follow wherever you may guide us. In times of doubt, Lord, anchor our faith in the unchanging truth of your word. You are our rock and fortress, and in you we find refuge. When the storms of life rage, may our faith stand firm, knowing that you are with us through every trial. Heavenly Father, as we continue in this sacred dialogue, we lift up our hearts in gratitude for the countless blessings you shower upon us each day. Your grace sustains us, and your mercy is new every morning. In the midst of life's challenges, we find refuge in your unwavering love. Lord, we acknowledge that we are a people in need of your guidance. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, and we lean on your wisdom as we navigate the complexities of life. Illuminate our minds and hearts with the knowledge of your truth, that we may walk in your ways. We confess our dependence on you, acknowledging that apart from you, we can do nothing. Empower us with your Holy Spirit, that we may bear fruit that glorifies your name. May the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control be evident in our lives. Lord, we surrender our anxieties and worries at your feet. Your word reminds us not to be anxious about anything, but to present our requests to you with thanksgiving. Philippians 4, 6. Grant us the strength to release our burdens to you, trusting that your peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We pray for the leaders of nations, communities, and organizations. Guide them with your wisdom, that they may lead with integrity, justice, and compassion. May they seek your counsel and be instruments of peace in a world longing for stability and harmony. Father, we remember those who are marginalized, oppressed, and overlooked. You are a God of justice, and we pray for a world where every person is treated with dignity and respect. Use us, Lord, as advocates for the voiceless, standing against injustice and oppression. We bring before you the young generation, the future leaders and influencers. Guard their hearts and minds, protect them from the snares of the enemy, and grant them wisdom beyond their years. May they grow in the fear and knowledge of you, becoming bold ambassadors for Christ in their spheres of influence. In times of uncertainty, Lord, help us to anchor our hope in the promises of your word. Your plans for us are plans for good and not for harm, to give us a future and a hope, Jeremiah 29, 11. Strengthen our faith to trust in your timing and to wait patiently on your perfect will. As we conclude this time of prayer, we express our gratitude for the privilege of communion with you. May the petitions of our hearts be aligned with your perfect will, and may our lives be a living testimony to your grace and love. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, we offer this prayer. Amen. Comment Amen if you believe that this prayer will help in your life. Subscribe this channel for more video like this video and share this video in your friends and family.